After 15 years of careful research and working with more than 1,000 patients, a team at IU School of Medicine created a new test to help diagnose depression and bipolar disorder. Tonight, our Rachel Krause shares the huge impact this information can have once it reaches a doctor's hands. But it's something that helps people. For the past 15 years, Dr. Alexander Nicolescu and his team over at IU School of Medicine have been working to make psychiatry more precise, allowing patients not only to tell a doctor how they feel, but to create testing to back that up. After years of work, they've succeeded, able to identify depression and bipolar disorder in a patient through a blood test. We were able to find the molecules in the blood, so-called biological markers or biomarkers that can indicate uh, objectively whether somebody suffers from depression or from bipolar disorder uh, and can help uh, doctors match people to the right treatment. So how does it work? Dr. Nicolescu and the research team identified 13 biomarkers that track your mood. Depending on how many of these markers are elevated or decreased, you'll get a score on how severe your depression is and whether or not it's depression or bipolar disorder. The biomarkers will also help to match you with which antidepressants, mood stabilizers and other medications you should use. That report goes right to your doctor, just like another lab test, giving them data for diagnosing and treating patients. In some ways, it's like flying with instruments as opposed to flying by looking out the window of a plane. Dr. Nicolescu says using this data can help to diagnose people faster and get them on the right treatments sooner, potentially saving lives. It will tell you it's not just in your head, it's not some sort of uh, laziness or moral weakness, it will guide you know, you sooner to the right treatment as opposed to trying three, four, five different antidepressants. It will help avoid hospitalizations. It will help avoid you becoming suicidal. Already this breakthrough blood test is being utilized, available as ordered by doctors through an early access program. Nicolescu says it's a slow process for the small team here, taking three to four weeks to get those results back but providing meaningful results for those patients seeking answers and help. We want to make it better for the patients. Obviously, that's the main goal. We also want to make it easier for the doctors to do their job. Nicolescu says they're working to streamline the process, making it faster and more accessible and more affordable so more patients can get that data. That was always the mission, get this into people's hands. And you can find links to this breakthrough blood test and details about the early access program on WTHR.com.